Good morning everybody. Um, I'm doing this video in response to Learning Curve Acres. Um, you asked me if I could do a video on puffballs that you find them as big as soccer balls. Yes, um, in my, my region I find those between September about to about mid-October, sometimes a little later. Um, but uh, what I do with them, I'm able to do this video today because what I do with them is because they're so big when you find them that uh, there's just, you, I mean, if you find several, it's just impossible to eat them all at one time. So what I do with them is I slice them like bread and then I will take and take the outer rind off of it and then I'll dry out the, uh, the fruit of it, the middle. Um, okay, so when I dry them out like that, sometimes you'll end up with a bag. I just put them in just storage bags, but you know, sometimes you'll end up with a bag where they get broke down, things like that, and they'll get small pieces. Now I'll take those and I'll throw them in um, soups, stews, things like that, and I will, uh, you know, throw them in if I'm cooking meat sometimes. But these big ones here, I'm going to show you how I do these. Um, you can bread these anyway, but, uh, my favorite way to have those big ones is that I will use pancake batter. Um, I get I get to just add water kind. Um, it's easier and quicker for me, so that's what I do. And uh, I'm gonna cook them right here in my cast iron skillet. I'll get this batter mixed up here, and, and we'll get this started. I got my batter mixed up, and I got a little butter in the skillet there. Uh, melting down I'm gonna you know mix my dip mine uh, puff ball and some batter okay so now we're ready to go my butter's melted down there so I'll just simply just dip that in some batter there and uh, give it a good coating put it in my skillet Doing them with pancake batter, especially for a breakfast here, that's that's good. Kind of gives them a sweet taste. But like I said, you can batter these any way you want. Uh, that's just the way I batter these, depending on your what taste you like. Now, as this, my wild edible series goes on, um, when we get into the seasons, forget it, collecting these, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do some more, but that's just in response to, uh, learning curve acres. And for anybody else that might be interested in this. I am by no means a cooking show, but a lot of things that go along with eating wild foods is how to prepare them, so I guess I need to throw that in there too. I will show you how I prepare them. I mean, it's one of those things you just experiment with different recipes, whatever. I'm just going to give you how I do it. I'll cook those till they're golden brown like that right there. Um, so these are just about done. They're done. They look good. They taste, you know, um, even being dried like they are, some some things you'll have to uh, soak a little moisture back into them. But these puffballs, they uh, they they're kind of dry anyways when you first collect them. They got a moist feeling to them. But even if you cook them, they're still kind of dry. But you know they'll take that moisture back pretty quick so they're, they're really good they make for a uh, oh, good good meal all the way around they uh, 
dinner, breakfast, it doesn't matter. They're, they're good. Um, so if you find a bunch, collect them. Like anything that you find in nature though, um, for sustainability, um, don't deplete, don't deplete your area. What it is, if you take, if you leave one of these, if you find a cluster of them and you leave one, it'll spore out and you'll have more there. Um, I'll go over all that later in the series when we're doing the uh, collection of these. Um, but there you go. There's my response to you. And this is how I do it. I just experiment with it. Try it out. Like I said, small ones, the little broke up pieces, they're still good too. Add them soup, stews, you know, with your meats, whatever you want to do. But they are mushroom and uh, they are, they have a not like a morel. Um, they're they're a little stronger than the uh, scarlet elf cups and things like that, but they are uh, they do got a mushroom taste to them. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this was informational for you, and I hope that uh, I was able to kind of give you an idea. And uh, if you like our videos, like, share, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft and Survival. Until the next one, that's it for this one.